What's going on, everybody? This is Grace Through Faith. Um, it's the first uh, video I've ever made. Um, finally worked up the courage to make a video to put on here. Um, I usually surf YouTube and look for good sermons on eternal security. Uh, grace alone, I believe in grace alone, eternal security, a person is saved by God, they are kept by God, by grace through faith. That's why my name grace through faith on here, that's what I believe. Um, I don't believe you can lose your salvation, I don't believe that you have another chance to get saved after you die. Because the Bible says it's appointed for man to die once and then the judgment. Not Notice what it doesn't say. It's appointed to man to die once. And then unlimited chances. And then the judgment. No. Well, that's another argument for another time. That's universalist. I've been really arguing with universalists here lately. Because, uh, man, very deceiving. Anyways... This is just my introduction video. I believe in grace alone, faith alone. Faith, uh, faith alone and Christ alone is what I believe. I don't believe a person has to perform any works whatsoever to be saved. Because, I mean, just think about it, to get saved. I mean, uh, before you got saved, you didn't do anything to get saved, right? I mean, a normal person understands that you can't get saved by doing things or stopping doing things. Uh, why would you need to be saved if you stopped? I mean, why would you need to be saved if you stopped sinning? That's stupid. Why would you need to be saved if you could be perfect? Why would you need to be saved then? It's ridiculous. See, it doesn't make sense to the, to the person that doesn't have a pea brain upstairs. They understand why Christ died. Why he went to the cross and what is so detrimental is that we have no part in that. He, he died 2,000 years ago on a cross. 2,000 years ago on the cross. We weren't around back then. So what makes these people think that we have something to do with it? Now, if he died 2,000 years ago for all of our sin, past, present, and future, why, does it, why, why do they think that we have anything to do with uh, other than believing alone? Why do they think we have anything to do uh, with our salvation, why? Because I don't believe the gospel. I've explained to a lot of people on here uh, if, that I was saved at a young age. I used to be a Lordship Salvationist, and it's what made me rebel for years. And I fell out of church and uh, probably like almost eight or nine years. I went on uh, just a worldly tangent. I, you couldn't even tell me from a, a believer. As a matter of fact, you wouldn't even think I would ever have darkened a church, door, a church door. Because I was such in rebellion against the fake God that they have had created for me to believe in. See, they told, you know, they made God out to be something uh, evil. Like he was a tyrant ready to kill me at any second if I didn't stop sinning. See, they were, they were giving me a false God. I rebelled against that false God. The whole time I thought I was rebelling against the real God. I wasn't. I was rebelling against the religious fake God that they tried, that they, they shackled me down with. So eight years of my life I rebelled. Finally about three years ago, two or three years ago, uh, finally I had a breakthrough. I had someone that I love very much explain to me the scripture and how we are saved. I always thought I could, I used to think I could lose my salvation. I used to think that uh, um, you can get saved over and over and over and over again, which is totally ridiculous. And if anybody believes that, it's just there's something wrong with their brain upstairs. I mean, all this stuff I used to believe, after looking back on it now, I'm just like, my lord, I was like so brainwashed. It's ridiculous. It's madness is what it is. It's fables, it's stories, it's lies, it's 
ridiculousness. Um, anyways, long story short, a couple of years ago, two or two and a half, three years ago, I've discovered real grace. Now, keep in mind, I was saved when I was a child. When I was, I don't know if I was at the age of accountability or not. I don't know when. It, I just know that I believed in Christ. I was told the gospel when I was young, you know, and. I believe it. Ever since I believed it, I believe it. Then I started really going to church when I was about 15 years old. Uh, and that's when I started getting groomed by the Lordship Salvationist and all the, the lying, uh, uh, what do they call elders in a church. I didn't notice it then because I was, I mean, so immature in the Lord. But their religiousness, their... Oh, we're so holy. Oh, bow down to my knees and worship me. Oh, oh. They walk in the door and you just, you know, you're supposed to fall over. You know, you're supposed to fall out, you know. You know, they touch you with their, their, their jacket like Benny Hinn and you're supposed to just have fall over and have convulsions because they're so holy. You know, I used to believe that crap. And it's very embarrassing thinking about it, but then I'm thinking like I was a kid, you know, and that's back that's in the past but I used to believe that I used to believe we are saved up until our next sin I used to believe that if we don't repent of a sin that we meant we will go straight to hell uh, but see this was I started I got deceived by this false doctrine after I had been saved so when I originally believed I believed in faith alone and Christ alone my father told me the gospel when I was a child he just told me the simple gospel, who Jesus Christ was and what he did for me. And I believed it. That night in my bed when I was a kid, I believed that. And ever since then, I was looking forward to going to heaven. I had such an assurance. I was always thinking, almost every day when I was a kid, I was thinking, I can't wait till I get to heaven. I can't, I can't wait. You know, I'm going to, you know, it's going to be awesome. Loving assurance. Incredible. Just peace that passed on the beyond the understanding then I got in church and that's where all hell broke loose and I started believing this and believing that and I wasn't studying to show myself approved I, I was shocked you know by everything that you know pastor was saying that it was just ridiculousness and if you missed a day of church, everybody was clapping when you came back in the next week, acting like, oh, another sinner saved. You know, it's just ridiculousness. But anyways, I got so burned out in that that I finally fell out of the church. Then I began my journey of retardation, partying it up, you know. I had a bad, 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 bad drinking problem. Horrible drinking problem at the time uh, but I you know I will admit that to people when I was drinking like that I was trying to get rid of something I was trying to suppress something I had this wrong belief in my heart I had this belief that every time I make a mistake this God that's supposed to love me is ready to throw me into hell for eternity. It was scaring me to death because every night I would just pray, just I would pray every night uh, just so I wouldn't go to hell if I died in my sleep. I believe the drinking was covering, repressing uh, things. Uh, I believe the drinking was trying to cover up uh, my the condemnation I was feeling, the fear, the guilt, the Anything. I rebelled against that because I thought God was that way. So I was mad at it. I was like, why are you, why can't I just be a normal teenager? Because from a young age, I felt like I've been called to preach or teach or do something like that. Uh, and I've always had that strong yearning to teach and preach. Uh, But the way they were telling me God was like, was, oh, if you're going to 
be a preacher or you're gonna be saved you gotta never sin you gotta you gotta be walk the straight and narrow you know turn or burn you know blah 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 blah, blah. and I wasn't fooling myself I wasn't fooling myself I knew I sinned all the time all the time Every one of those kids in that church knew they sinned. Every Sunday they were down there at that altar crying and rolling around on the ground almost because they were so scared that they were going to go to hell for what they did during the week. So they would get constantly resaved at the altar every Sunday. I always had an assurance kind of way back deep in my heart that something was always not right with that belief I used to believe something was always not right something was like telling me that it wasn't right it was the Holy Spirit is what it was but when you're a young kid like that and you have 80 year old 60 50 year old elders telling you all these things and condemning you and being very very uh, deceiving you believe it Especially because I've been brought up to respect my elders. I've been brought up to, you know, respect authority. And I do. But I was deceived because they were feeding me false doctrine. I finally had enough of it. I got fed up. I left the church because I started rebelling against the fake God that they created to have me believe in it. Okay. Because I was really saved when I was a kid. I didn't feel any of this condemnation, anything like that, until I started going to that church. I felt free before I went there. And then the law, it was kind of like what Paul said. And then, you know, I was alive once without the law. But then the commandment came and I died. Sin, sin revived and I died or whatever. Uh, in my later videos, I'm going to start having scripture and all my stuff, and I'm going to really get in-depth in teaching and stuff. But this is kind of like an introduction, plus kind of like who I am, where I come from, what I've kind of dealt with. But anyways, finally, three years ago, my father explained to me, showed me Romans chapter 7, Paul's struggle with the sin nature. And it just clicked, a light bulb went on, and ever since my passion has came back my drive when I make you know a person makes mistakes now I don't just I'll automatically give up and think I'm unsaved it's retarded that's what Satan wants you to do Satan wants you when you make mistakes in sin Satan wants you to think that uh, God hates you or he's mad at you or if you do it again you know he's not gonna really forgive you because if you really feel bad about it, you would stop right. That's what they used to tell me. If you really was repentant of that sin, you would stop it. Therefore, they're telling me every time I ask forgiveness, I keep doing it, I'm not getting for It's just craziness. You know. They would so manipulate like that. If you really felt bad about your sin, if you really were God's, if you really were, just like it sounds just like what Satan said in the garden to Eve, did God really say that? So he started making her doubt what God said. But the same way these people are supposed to be running a church are doing to me. Now, if you were a true child of God, you would stop doing that. And I'm just like, oh, my Lord. And I'm sitting here, oh, Jesus, please, oh, don't send me to hell for eternity, please. Oh, I'll whack my, my eyes out. I'll cut my arm off. Better to be enter heaven maimed than enter hell with both my arms. Just ridiculousness. Anyways, I believe salvation is by grace through faith. We cannot lose it, we can't forfeit it. Just like before we get saved, we can't do anything to get saved. You're stuck in that state lest you choose to believe in Jesus Christ. Just like after you're saved. See, we're, we're not, we, we, didn't, we don't choose to be born. 
okay? We're born. God gives us that as a gift. This life is a gift, okay? See, but we can choose to be saved or not. We can choose salvation or not. Salvation is not forced on people. That's the deal. Uh, that's another uh, thing I want to talk about about universalism. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop this video right here. This is Grace Through Faith. I want to make some more videos pretty soon, uh, probably very, very, very soon. And uh, but I want to get off here and. Uh, God bless everybody, and uh, looking forward to making some more videos. God bless everyone.